Hey there guys, welcome back to another video and today we have another hot desert MRE and this one is menu number 20, spaghetti with beef sauce. So let's check it out. So let's get a quick look at it. As you can see, this is an MRE, meal ready to eat individual. Of course, it's got the peelable seal. This is menu number 20, spaghetti with beef sauce, packaged by Sapaco. On the back, we have a date code. This is from the 208th day of 2012. And as I mentioned, this thing was stored in a really hot garage, about 118 degrees in the summer out here in the Mojave Desert. So let's check it out. So let's quickly bust into it. Got the peel seal. This one's a little bit rough. So let's pull some things out. And right off the bat, we have an accessory pack. We've got the hot beverage bag. The MRE spoon. Got the flameless ration heater. We have a multi-grain snack bread. And of course we have the nasty cheese bread. That's gonna be fun. And our drink this time is a lemon lime. And we've got some cranberries osmotic. Should be interesting. Got some Skittles. Some pretzels. And we have the main entree, the spaghetti with beef and sauce. Let's check out the accessory pack. Let's see what we got. Got some billiards pepper sauce. Taster's Choice Coffee. A creamer, non-dairy dry, moist toilet, book of matches, toilet paper or butt ration, packet of sugar, iodized salt, chocolate gum. it and there we have the entire contents of this MRE and I gotta say a lot of these components would definitely survive a hot desert like the pretzels the skittles and maybe that multi-grain snack bread but without further ado let's begin and we'll start with the drinks make that taster's choice We might as well make the lemon lime drink. Get a stir. I guess we'll start with the coffee. There's our Taster's Nasty. Here we go. A 
yeah, that's just a really weak cup of coffee. Not something you would expect if you want something to keep you up, keep you awake. But yeah, it's just a uh, simple cup of coffee. Let's give this another stir. Definitely have some floaties in there. <laughs> Not sure what that's about, but looks very green, very, uh, very much like Kool-Aid. Here we go. That's always the same, just very artificial, very much like lemon lime Kool-Aid. I did water it down a little bit, so it's a little bit bland. Yeah, it is what it is. Before we go any further, let's heat up our mains. Nice retort pouch. So I'm just gonna dump it in our pot. But in the meantime, let's proceed. And we'll just get the cheese spread out of the way. This stuff is no good. It's completely toast. I guess I'll just show you. It's got a very distinct gym socks smell to it. So, there it goes. Get that money shot. As you can tell, the consistency is not like your normal cheese spread. This stuff is just completely gone, completely useless. Let's move along. We have the multi-grain snack bread. It's got an oxygen absorber, so. There it is. Looks like the wheat snack bread, but this one has a different shape. It's got little bits of multigrain. Let's give it a try. That's just like your usual multigrain bread. It's a little bit sweet. This one in particular is a little bit stale due to its age, but I think it's still edible. Let's see what else we have. These are the osmotic cranberries and kind of curious to see if they're still any good. There's our cranberries and they do smell a little bit funky, a little bit old and stale. So we're just gonna have a couple of them. Just to be on the safe side. Here we go. Surprisingly, those cranberries are perfect. Absolutely nothing wrong with them. They do have this weird little crunch from the sugars crystallizing, but other than that, they're perfect. They're amazing. And we have the pretzels. These things are gonna be perfect. That is almost 100%. It's got the oxygen thingamajig, thingamabob. And look at that, they look perfect. our pretzel sticks. You can see the big chunks of salt. Here we go. Those pretzels would last 100 years without any problems. 
They're nice and savory, nice and salty, and very crunchy. And since the mains is still cooking, we're gonna check out the Skittles. These things are probably 100% edible, so. That's at least my guess. There's our Skittles and yeah, they look perfect. Looks like normal everyday Skittles. Here we go. And it looks like our mains is just about ready. Let's pull it out. All right, we got our mains and it's piping hot. Let's check it out. Definitely smells like it's got some age to it. There's our spaghetti with beef sauce. You can see some chunks of beef, obviously the spaghetti, and it very much looks like Chef Boyardee. So nothing left to do but to um, grab a bite. There it is. Here we go. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. It's a little bit weird from being heated, probably a little bit too long. It's got a little bit of a weird plasticky taste. It has a little bit of a metallic taste to it. So I'm guessing I cooked it a little bit too long. Other than that, it's pretty much like Chef Boyardee. The meat is a little bit weird, a little bit rubbery. I'd say it's still edible. And of course we can't forget the pepper sauce. Always makes the spaghetti a little bit better. Here we go again. All right. That does make it a little bit better. Gives it a nice little spicy vinegary zest, a little bit of a boost. So might as well go all out and have it with some of the bread. There we go. I want to be able to say that that's still edible, which I'm sure it is, but it does have a really strong staleness to it. So if you can get past that, I'd say it's still good, but yeah, it's kind of hard to get past that. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. This was another episode of the Hot Desert MRE. I still have a few menus left, so make sure you stay tuned. And yes, some of these components were still perfect, like the Skittles, the pretzels, and the cranberries. Can't complain about that. Everything else was a little bit stale, a little bit weird, so you definitely could survive on some of these components if it was an emergency situation. So that being said, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you did not like it and you just don't like MREs in general, and if you just don't like my style of reviewing, then give this video a thumbs down. And as always, thank you so much for watching. See you soon.